No Wait Weather and Traffic on CW39 Houston. Hey, everybody. Well, there we are. It was like, no one's here. Yes, they are. In fact, we've got Kerrigan here. We've got Kara here. We are here for you on this Friday. Doesn't it feel good to say that? It Not just Friday, Friday. Yeah. Every time you say that every Friday, I feel like I get a little bit of a boost into the weekend. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to boost people on in to when a good weekend. When you're not here, we try to do it, but it just doesn't work I love like it, the way you I, do it. Oh, thank you. I feel a little you. bit more than a Friday as my boost in the morning. I need a Friday with and a two, coffee. Cups, two cups of coffee. <laughs> no, so it's a Friday with some coffee. Yeah. Oh, okay, that <laughs> well, that's a boost. That works. Just make it up as we go along, okay? But thanks for playing with us. Now, we do have to get a little serious when you talk about our roads first and our weather. But first, how are the roads looking right now, Kara? They're getting quieter. Good. I mean, that's progress. Because, you know, we've had a crazy type of Friday morning, you know, like you, that mixed with some rain. It, it's been wild. But 69 East Texas at Cross Timbers, you know, it's getting quieter, but we still have a few accidents that are lingering, this being one of them. We'll talk about it more coming up, though. All right. Now, all eyes are on the skies. I know. Friday is a great way to get into your weekend, but this weekend we've really got to watch the skies and a lot more, right Kerrigan? Yes, yeah, some storms are on the way. We have a pretty big cold front coming. A winter-like cold front will bring some frigid temperatures as we head into our Sunday morning. Until then, we have to track some light showers that are passing on the roofs. Even some moderate rainfall being depicted out toward Rosenberg, New Golf, and El Campo. Bay City getting in on the action, uh, stopping our radar just so you can see uh, who's seeing the rainfall out near Needville. You're about to experience a little shower. El Campo, same story goes for you. Now it is warmer out there as you're stepping outside you'll probably notice that you might not need as big of a jacket as you've needed the past few days 14 degrees cooler at warmer i should say at this point than where we were at this point yesterday as we look at what we'll be talking about coming up in my full forecast some breezy days on top starting with today those winds out of the south tomorrow they'll shift to out of the north and they'll be kicking saturday storms brings with it a major drop in temperatures and that wind threat with that strong cold front on the way. Again, we're taking a look at our most recent accident from Houston Transfer. 69 East Texas at Cross Timbers is what's happening right now. It's involving two vehicles, the right shoulder, right lane, and center lane. It's what's being impacted. It came in just at 8.32 this morning, and there's still, you can see the emergency vehicles are there trying to get things cleared up. Good news is that no one's at a standstill. Traffic is moving. So, again, if this is your route, then the good news is you can still get by. Just slow it down as you pass by those vehicles there. We'll have a look at our map to tell you exactly exactly where some of those other problem areas are coming up. New from overnight, Harris County deputies responding to a shooting that happened along Freeport and Duncan Streets. It happened around 11.45 p.m. when deputies arrived finding a man had been shot. That 30-year-old man who had been shot once was taken to the hospital but later died. Homicide detectives say there had been an argument between the victim and several other men but the argument turned into a physical fight. This is when one of the men pulled out a gun and shot the victim. Now, prior to the argument, the man was walking to a nearby motel with a woman. Authorities say after the shooting, everyone ran away. It's unknown what the group was arguing about. Also last night, Harris County deputies responding to reports of a person being down in the 22,000 block of Imperial Valley Drive. And now when they arrived, they found a man in his 30s lying on the ground near a bus stop. He'd been shot. He was taken to the hospital, but later was pronounced dead. Authorities say the man was at the bus stop with a woman and four other men when some sort of disturbance happened. And according to Harris County deputies, multiple bullet casings and even some weapons were found at the scene. There are no witnesses and an investigation is underway. But if you have any information or you saw anything, you're urged to contact authorities. A community in mourning today after a 15 year old teenage boy was killed just moments after getting off of his school bus in the Livingston area yesterday. The DPS says the bus had its warning lights and stopped arm extended when an 18 wheeler plowed into a car that was sitting behind the bus. Then the big rig veered off and hit the boy who was standing in a driveway. Authorities say it's too early in the investigation to determine if anyone will be charged. Meanwhile, Livingston ISD says counselors will be available today for anyone who may need them. A 15 year old teenage girl is recovering this morning after she was shot in the west side of Houston. The gunfire erupted on Fairdale Lane near Hillcroft and the gunman has not been found. 
Meanwhile, a Houston rapper is out on bond this morning after allegedly leading police on a high-speed chase. You're looking at Albert Walker Mundane, also known as rapper Sauce Walka. He was arrested Wednesday. Authorities say he led Harris County deputies on a high-speed chase that top speeds at one point at 130 miles per hour. He ended up losing control and crashing during the pursuit. He was eventually taken to the hospital for minor injuries. Well, now let's turn our eyes to Washington, D.C., where Republicans and Democrats in the Senate are still scrambling to come up with some type of border security solution that both sides can finally agree on. The border talks have delayed the passage of President Biden's $106 billion supplemental funding request for aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Anna Wernicke has more. Secure the border before we get attacked. Senate Republicans are demanding tougher border security policies in exchange for their support for President Joe Biden's $106 billion supplemental funding request. That includes aid for Ukraine and Israel. I will help all of our allies. But we got to help ourselves first. Republicans blocked a procedural vote on Wednesday to advance the president's national security plan because they believe the package doesn't adequately address border security. We found something that uh, provides us the opportunity to force the administration to do something that they've been unwilling to do until this point. Republicans are pushing for sweeping policy changes at the border. That includes imposing new limits on migrants seeking asylum, parole, and refugee status. But Democrats say Republicans' demands are unreasonable and are accusing Republicans of holding emergency aid for Ukraine hostage. They are playing chicken with our national security. Still, President Biden says he's open to negotiating with Republicans to end the stalemate and get Ukraine the urgent aid it needs. I am willing to make significant compromises on the border. And that was Anna Wernicke reporting. Well, a special counsel has now indicted President Joe Biden's son, Hunter, on nine tax-related charges in California. The indictment includes three felony counts. The White House declined to comment and referred this information to Hunter Biden's personal attorneys, as well as the Justice Department. The special counsel brought the charges following the collapse of Hunter Biden's plea deal last summer. Well, now to Washington once again. It's the first night of the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. That took place last night. The national menorah was lit just after sunset Thursday in our nation's capital. Each night a candle will be lit until all eight are lit on the final night of Hanukkah, December 15th. And tomorrow is election day for the joint runoff elections happening in our area Saturday, December 9th. The polls will be open from 7 a.m. in the morning until 7 p.m. You may only vote in the Houston mayoral race if you live within the new city boundaries. The contest will show on your sample ballot if you meet that requirement. Now to view these voting locations or for more information, you can head over to two locations, harrisvotes.com or right on our website. Ourselves, our website is cw39.com, so check it out. And on Election Day, Metro is offering free rides to voters. Those heading to the polls can, of course, hop onto the Metro Rail, buses, Metro Rapid, Curb to Curb, or even the Metro Lift for free. Simply let the driver know that you are on your way to cash your vote or you're returning from voting. Now let's check traffic and what's going on on the roads, Kara? Well, good news, Sharon, is that accident we were monitoring on 69 East Texan Cross Timbers has now cleared. So you can see here from our Houston Transfer view that things are looking pretty good there. Um, like what I see there for our Friday morning. And we are looking at our traffic map, but we're still seeing some problem areas um, that we didn't get a chance to quite talk about. But here you are starting to see, if you've been watching us since early this morning, this is so much progress. We're not quite there where everything is clear. But again, I expected us to approach our 9 o'clock hour and things to get in better shape. So within our inner loop, downtown area is still seeing some backup trouble. Jersey Village is actually seeing a little bit of yellow there, so slower speeds as well as I-10 and Katy. Um, going towards Umble has been seeing quite a bit of trouble this morning, and if you're in the Pearland area um, closer to 288, then you might see some slower speeds as well. Also, there is a crash on Woolcrest Drive at Bissonette Street, so we'll keep monitoring that as well. But for now, Kerrigan sending it over to you. Let's talk 
about with our weather over the course of the next 48 hours. So let's get started with this morning where we saw those showers passing on through. We're still seeing that throughout town right now. Not really impactful rainfall or impactful wind speeds, just both on the order of pesky. The winds will just be a little breezy throughout the day and rainfall really won't add up to much, but it wouldn't be a bad idea if you don't like getting wet. Just hold around the umbrella with you throughout town today as they will be on and off in nature for the next few hours. As we head into our lunchtime, we still have those dotty spots of rain um, showing up here on our future cast model. Uh, cloud cover through and through our afternoon. Wind speeds pick up by this afternoon and for this evening. While that occurs, rainfall wraps up after sunset tonight. So any type of Friday night plans should be good to go. You don't have to worry about carrying around that umbrella any further or that rain jacket if you ask. Uh, Plan on spending the night out on the town. Now going into tomorrow morning, we have once again a few isolated showers that will be passing through before lunchtime. Cloud cover to start our day as well. After lunch, we have a brief moment of clearing and warming ahead of that cold front that's on the way. Winds will pick up out of the south just ahead of them switching to out of the north. So we see this one o'clock time frame, this thin band of clouds and showers that will start to ramp up and become a a bit more severe as we head into the afternoon, especially for areas to our east toward Beaumont and going into portions of Louisiana. This pushes all offshore throughout the nighttime and we start clearing quickly on the back end. Sunday will look gorgeous out there, but it will be cold and breezy with those winds kicking out of the north around 30 miles per hour. Buckle down those Santas as we head into tomorrow night. Now let's go into our Sky Tracker Network and take a live look at our surf camera. Pretty nice view out there along the coastline. Those white caps, though, indicating the winds are breezy. We have onshore flow for today, switching to offshore flow for your Sunday. You're watching CW39 Houston. No wait, weather and traffic. Friendship goals. Are we on for tomorrow night? Pink Floyd Laser Show at the Planetarium. Oh, you could plan it on it. The Neighborhood. Weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on CW39 Houston. Same-day gynecology and prenatal visits in person or virtual because your time and reason for visit matters. Convenient locations with trusted expert care and on-site pharmacies carrying contraceptive choices. Pick up and home delivery available. My CHN can help. Call or log on today. Wouldn't it be nice if someone would handle the hassle of finding and managing your home's electricity plan? Power Wizard finds the best plan for you and your home's usage. We protect you from gimmicks, fine print gotchas, and bad deals. From shopping to enrollment to renewals, Power Wizard handles it all. And the best thing is, we save our customers hundreds on their electricity. Power Wizard, your personal energy expert. One call does it all. With the Freestyle Libre 2 system, know your glucose level and where it's headed without finger sticks. Manage your diabetes with more confidence. Now widely covered by Medicare for patients managing diabetes with insulin. Visit freestylelibre.us to learn more. During Mattress Month at Rooms to Go, don't miss this special bonus buy. Get this therapeutic mattress any size and get a second mattress free. Here's how it works. Buy a king size, get another king or smaller size free. Buy a queen, get another queen or smaller free. Buy a fuller twin size, get the second one free. Plus, get other great mattress buys store-wide, including top brands like Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, and more. Now at the Rooms to Go store-wide mattress sale. If you've been injured and people are telling you to get a lawyer, here's what you should do. Listen, friends, family, co-workers, your doctor, they don't want you to be taken advantage of, and they're giving you good advice. So take it and call Terry Bryant. They've seen what can happen to good people after a serious injury, and they'll work hard so it doesn't happen to you. After an accident, go with the one you know. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Be a difference maker this holiday season. Drop off toys along with frozen and non-perishable foods at CW39 and these locations. Monday, December 18th. Your donations directly benefit the 45th Annual Super Feast. Every child deserves a healthy start in life. At MyCHN, we provide total care for your little ones, from preventive checkups to specialized treatments. Our care team is here for your child's well-being. Geek out with young Sheldon. Did you have fun? I got to take a test on a Saturday. Heck yeah. 
Weeknights at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. Welcome back, everybody. The Southwest Sand Express flies into H-Town tomorrow to the delight of some kids who could really use some holiday happiness. CW39's own Seth Kovar has been all morning long live at the Southwest Airlines Maintenance Hangar at Hobby Airport to tell us about all the excitement, what's in store, and where Santa himself is going to arrive tomorrow. We can't wait. So tell us more about this, Seth. Oh, it's going to be such a blast. He's going to come on in here in a Southwest Airlines plane. He's going to be in the captain's seat waving at the children as he does. Sarah Pepper from 96.5 is with me right now. We just gave our producer a heart attack because you were over there working. Um, it's so busy right now getting things ready. It is so busy. Staging Solutions is out here right now, and they're the ones that are setting up the sleigh and the stage and the Christmas trees. So I was over there spreading leaves and working on the flocking of the trees. And you can't help but just get involved because it's going to look so great. You can tell this is something it's important to you. You want to put every detail, just make it perfect for these kids, it sounds like. I think that they deserve perfect, right? Like, we know what it's going to be like for us on Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that we take that for granted. We get so wrapped up in the hustle and the bustle and the shopping and the wrapping that we really forget how lucky we are to have that be a hassle for us, to have that stress, because for a lot of kids, the stress is they'll go into school on Monday and they won't have a gift or a Christmas, and that's not okay. And if we can change that and we can step in and be a part of that, mm -hmm. then we should, and Houston showed up for this. 1,500 kids in the foster care system here with the Pelton Children's Center are all getting Christmas gifts this year. A lot of them are going to be able to come out here on Saturday morning. Southwest Airlines, Lion Del Bacell, everybody that donated to this, it may have been an idea that came from my head, but Houston made it happen. Well, let me explain what the viewers are seeing right now. They're looking at this plane that's decked out in trolls, and then they're going to see the guy setting up the stage as well. The troll plane, what is that about? And that's going to be Santa's ride? It is going to be Santa's ride. So when Southwest requested the plane, and they said who it was for, and they said for Santa, Southwest Airlines said, we're not flying him in in anything else but a custom designed plane. And with trolls, the kids are going to love it. Yeah, they must have a movie coming out, or there's a new one or they something. They do. There's yeah. trolls, too. Where have you been, Seth? I don't have kids. Seth, I don't know these things. Insane got together to do the title <laughs> track for it. Like, what? Have we not learned anything this morning? Oh, you're on the did. naughty list. Naughty oh, list. Oh, no, but I got the hat on. I, I think I right, fit we'll the bring part, you back right? Over. We'll okay. bring you back over the nice list. Okay, very good. Well, y'all are doing such a nice thing here. Uh, is there a personal side of this for you at all? I just remember when we were kids, you know, Christmas was tough for us. I had a single mom. There were times that for Christmas, all we got, we, we were grateful. We're socks and underwear, but it was always hard for us when we went to school. It didn't make sense to us. It didn't register why it was different for other kids. And every child should have an even playing field. And I think that Houston is leveling that playing field for all of these kids. And magic should not be reserved for certain children. It should be an equal opportunity for all of them. Awesome. All right. Well, do you mind coming back for one more during Houston Happens? Let's go. All right. We'll be back in 30 minutes with more about the Southwest Santa Express that's coming in tomorrow. Back to you guys. Getting it done. We love it, and so much so. Thanks for what you're doing for the kids. Appreciate it. Well, now some Astros news to tell you about. Free agent catcher Victor Caratini finalizing his multi-million dollar two-year contract. He's getting a $6 million salary each of the next two seasons and can earn $500,000. That's a half million each year in performance bonuses for plate appearances. The switch hitter, the 30-year-old, spent the past two seasons with Milwaukee. He committed only one error, just one, and did not have a pass ball in 58 games behind the plate. He has 236 career hitters with 38 homers and 171 RBIs in seven major league seasons with the Chicago Cubs, San Diego, and Milwaukee. He is something else, and welcome to the Astros. We love it. Now to some football, also known as soccer. We now know a little bit more about the schedule for the Copa America that's set to kick off June 20th next year. Defending champions Argentina opening the cup against Canada or Trinidad in Tobago in Atlanta. As far as the U.S. national team is facing Bolivia June 23rd, a little closer to home in Arlington. The U.S. plays Panama at Atlanta on June 27th and finishes Group C against Uruguay of, at Kansas City, Missouri, July 1st. Now, if our national team advances, it would meet either Brazil, Colombia, Paraguay, Costa Rica, or Honduras. We'll keep you posted. Now, sticking with all this great sports action, let's go the high school route. High school football and basketball in full swing this weekend. And our own, the one, the only, Todd Freed has a preview of the games in Saturday's H-Town High School Sports. Check it out. <laughs> 
Good morning, everyone. I'm Todd Free. Coming up tomorrow night on H-Town High School Sports, it's the final four in the UIL football playoffs as the North Shore Mustangs face Austin Westlake in the 6A Division I state semifinals. And the Summer Creek Bulldogs take on Cibolo Steel in Class 6A Division II. We'll have the highlights. We're off to Summer Creek for a special report on Bulldogs running back Lloyd Avon. In Class 4A, nearby Belleville takes on Wimberley in the state semifinals. While in basketball, we'll have great hoops action from across the area. So join me tomorrow night at 10 for East Town High School Sports right here on CW39 Houston. passing showers as of this morning. Wind speeds pick up throughout this afternoon and continue to pick up all throughout our Saturday leading up to a big cold front. As that passes through, winds will shift from out of the south to out of the north and then will be chilly waking up on Sunday morning. A gale watch issued because of this reason for our coastline. That's the area highlighted in pink there. So with these winds gusting over 30 miles per hour at times, it will cause a hazard for boats out on the water. It could cause visibility issues or even capsizing two smaller vessels with those elevated seas. As for our current temperatures, we have upper 60s here in Houston. Sugarland waking up at 68 degrees as of 920 AM and 65 degrees off in Huntsville. A lot milder out along the coastline. Galveston and Angleton both in those 70s, which is where we'll all land for this afternoon. Those mid to upper 70s are on top with cloud cover overhead and those isolated showers. Lows tonight will not fall nearly as low as what we've seen previously this week with those winds holding steady out of the south. It will help moderate us moving forward until that front passes on through. Overnight lows fall to around 68 for us here in Houston. Once that front passes, though, check out our high temperatures significantly dropping for our Sunday. This is the best it's looked all morning if you've been tuning in since our 530 show earlier, but we are starting to see some of those solar speeds linger in um, as we approach 10 o'clock this morning. 610 West Loop at Memorial, you can see that there are a uh, traffic is moving. That's the good news, but nothing's at a standstill. So we will leave it at that for our Friday drive time. So we'll get an update on that. Pinot to downtown is 31 minutes. Townsend Town Town to downtown 23 minutes. William Street Boulevard to downtown is a 19 minute commute and Crosby Lynchburg to downtown 20 minutes NASA Parkway to downtown 25 minutes highway 146 to South Loop has remained consistent at 14 minutes and Woodlands Parkway to downtown 31 minutes Barker Cypress to West Loop 16 minutes and Broadway Street to downtown is 11 minutes over to you all right, to your business report this morning and two big stories coming from Amazon. It will no longer allow users to pay with Venmo beginning January 10th. This is according to a notice sent to users. The company announcing last October it would accept Venmo at checkout. Shares of PayPal, which owns Venmo, slid on Thursday. Amazon is betting, though, members of its Prime program will want to pay a separate monthly fee for unlimited grocery deliveries on some orders from Whole Foods right there. The trial service will give Prime members in three cities the option to pay $9.99 a month for access to free fresh and Whole Foods deliveries on orders more than $35. Well, we are officially proud partners of Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Houston's 15th Annual Santa Project. Following its tradition, the Santa Project selects children and teens facing financial struggles to make a gift wish list. They're then paired with donors who purchase and deliver the recipient's requested gifts. The minimum cost to sponsor a wish list is just $75, so we highly encourage everyone to participate if you have the means to do so yourself. Those interested in becoming sponsors for a child or teen can still participate until December 15th. For more information on this great Santa project, please visit bgcgh.org slash Santa project or call 713-868-3426. Help bring a smile to a child or teen's face. We're CW 39 Houston, no wait weather and traffic. Get Houston news that's happening right now. Local weather, traffic, and more right in your inbox. Sign up for the No Wade Weather and Traffic daily newsletter. Go to CW39.com forward slash newsletter or just scan the QR code on your screen. Hard work can take